name is Dada Masilo, I'm 29 years old, I'm a dancer choreographer from Johannesburg, South Africa and we are at the Saddles, Saddles Wells um, uh, in the UK in London and um, I'm going to be opening my production of Swan Lake tonight. Swan Lake is the first ballet that I saw when I was 12 when I started dancing and I, com I fell completely in love with the tutus um, when I first saw them so I thought one day I want to be able to dance this ballet as well um, and so in 2010 I decided to make my own version. Um, I mean the basic narrative is that um, the prince uh, falls in love with a swan and then um, he is deceived by um, the black swan uh, who then uh, pretends to be the white swan. Um, in my version the prince um, is gay um, so I'm playing with that stereotype um, because because people always think that men who dance are gay, so I thought, okay, so what would happen if we had um, a, a gay prince for a change, you know, so, um, and just, yeah, just to break the gender stereotypes and to, to play around with it a bit, to make it a bit more androgynous. Um, I mean, I was really interested uh, also in just breaking it a bit, you know, because um, I didn't want to make a swan leg that was exactly the same as the classical, you know, so I, I wanted to do something different with my version. Using classical ballet and African dance was not easy at all. It was very challenging because um, African dance is into the ground. There's a lot of sternum movement and ballet is completely the opposite. You know, it's very graceful, it's very light, it's very soft. So in the beginning I battled um, just to, to, to make them speak to each other. Um, but I think just practice and um, determination, going like I'm going to make this work, yeah, it kind of sort of came together at the end. A lot of people were a bit skeptical about, about it working. Working. Of course, you know, because I'm taking two techniques that don't speak to each other and I'm going, okay, I'm going to make something out of this and then on top of that taking a very famous classic to do that. So, yeah, it was a bit daunting in the beginning because I, I, I did think that it was going to fall flat on its face, um, you know, but I thought, okay, you know, let me just try and then if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. The themes for me uh, of Swan Lake, I wanted to really work with the, the traditions of both um, the classical uh, and, the, and the African, so I'm, I'm using that and the cultures as well. Um, okay, and then also the, 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 the issue of homosexuality um, and uh, gender, playing with gender stereotypes, um, creating that androgyny, just breaking the, the hierarchy. In South Africa, with homosexuality, I mean, there's still quite a lot of homophobia. Um, so I guess uh, people were divided, you know, um, there's still those people that, that are still very homophobic, so they didn't take very well to it. Um, I remember uh, one of our reviews uh, said that um, uh, this version of Swan Lake is a, a homophobe's worst nightmare, you know, because you definitely <laughs> definitely want to see it. Um, but the majority of the audiences seemed to be okay with it. It was just like, oh, different take, you know. Um, but I think that with uh, homophobia, it's something that's going to take a lot of time um, to sort of uh, get over it, you know. Um, but also it's, it's a problem of the world, you know, um, so I'm hoping that uh, we're opening people's minds and, and that, you know, soon they're going to start looking at things a little bit differently. reaction from the UK is going to be good because you know um, we've been like so excited to come here to Sadler's Wells um, it's, it's a big honor for for me and it's a big honor for the company so I really hope that the reaction is good it's always very difficult to to, to know what the reaction of, of each country is going to be um, so I've kind of adopted this thing of going I'm gonna go in there and I'm just gonna share my baby with each different countries but I'm not gonna have any expectations you know um, because I think that's dangerous um, we may have had like good responses in, 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 in South Africa and in Europe, but I mean each country is different, so I don't know. I mean I look forward to, to hearing um, and seeing the reactions of the people, but I am not expecting anything. I'm just going to come and share my baby with the UK. <laughs>